uh, <clears throat> in this problem uh, we want to show something that extends the result that we did before which is that um, if you take a function that is monotone then we know that the point of discontinuity is countable and therefore it is an f sigma which gives you that the point of continuity is a g delta okay which is the complement on f sigma so uh, what happened is this is a special case of something far more interesting which is that in fact this result is valid for any function so let f defined on the real line okay uh, just any real b uh, function any function non, not, not necessarily monotone or anything so now we want to look at, at the set where the function f is uh, continuous so first of all remember that f is continuous at a if and only if limit of f of x when x goes to a exists and is equal what to a which gives me that for every epsilon there exists delta such that uh, x minus a less than delta implies f of x minus f of a less than epsilon so in particular we can replace this by uh, x belongs to a minus delta a plus delta okay and what's interesting is that if we take now any x and x star okay so this is just an implication of this that if x and x star are two elements in a minus delta a plus delta then what's going to happen is that triangular inequality will give us that this is less than 2 epsilon okay so if I start with epsilon over 2 here okay then what we're gonna find here is just epsilon okay so this brings me to the following uh, set for the function f which is fix epsilon and consider a epsilon which is the set of a such that there exists delta positive such that uh, for a x x star in a minus delta a plus delta we have f of x minus f of x star less than epsilon so one may wonder why don't you take x star to be a uh, because we will have difficulty to prove that a epsilon in fact is a nice set so what we have here is in fact first of all if f is continuous at a then a belongs to a epsilon for any epsilon positive okay and the converse is the converse is true as well okay so next what we are going to show in other words I'm sorry in other words that the set of if I take C to be the set of X such that our A in R such that F is continuous at A then C is equal to the intersection of all the set note that this is the same as because of the total order of the real line that and 1 over n going to 0 that this is the same as 1 over n when n is greater than 1 so so now to finish our problem we just need to prove that in fact a epsilon is open for any epsilon positive and this is very interesting why because which explain why here some may suggest why don't you take in this definition this x star just to be equal to a because the limit of f of x is f of a and therefore we just take x star to be a and this would give us hard time uh, if we do that to prove that a epsilon is an open set so how do we prove that now 
Epsilon is an open set. Okay, so of course I forgot to mention something that C may be empty, and if it is empty, it's a G delta, so we don't have to worry about it because it's open. So here we will assume that C is not empty, and therefore A epsilon is not empty. Okay, so let A belongs to A epsilon. Okay, so we know that there exists delta such that we have the definition that for every x x star in A minus delta A plus delta we have f of x minus f of x star less than epsilon okay so in this case what happened let me do it on on the real line uh, to express so this is just a note okay so here it is you have a here a minus delta and a plus delta okay so now we're taking a b let's take b in this interval somewhere okay so let's say b is here since the interval is open then we can find uh, a delta bar such that so here let uh, delta bar uh, let's be sorry sorry uh, um, So what's going to happen? So let's B belongs to A minus delta, A plus delta. So in this case, because it is open, there exists delta bar such that, positive, such that the interval B minus delta bar, B plus delta bar, will be included in A minus delta, A plus delta. So in this case, what happened? For every x, x star, which belongs to B minus delta bar, B plus delta bar, okay, then we have that X, X star belongs to A minus delta, A plus delta, which implies that F of X minus F of X star will be less than epsilon. In other words, we found a delta bar for any B in this interval, we found a delta bar such that so we found that for uh, sorry for any b in a minus delta a plus delta okay we found that b belongs to a epsilon because we found that delta bar such that okay which implies that in fact that a minus delta a plus delta is in a epsilon and this shows of course that a epsilon is open and this will finish the proof of the claim that we said that set C is a G delta